Hey what's up YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to play High School Never Ends by Bowling for Soup. This is part of the Throwback Thursday series, so if this is the kind of music you're interested in learning how to play, please do check out the rest of the playlist. Um, anyway, it's going to sound a little bit like this, and I'm really sorry, I've got a bit of a sore throat, so this is not going to be my best. Apologies. The whole damn world is just as obsessed with who's the best dressed and who's having sex. Who's got the money, who gets the honeys, who's kind of cute and who's just a mess. You still don't have the right look, and you don't have the right friends. Nothing changes but the faces, the names, and the trends. High school never ends. Oh, 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 and so the thing you might notice is that it's a little bit lower than how well in pursuit play it. So if you want to play along with the actual song, you just need to pop your capo on the second fret. And um, I'm going to put mine on the first because it's quite high. So for this song, you're going to need a couple of chords. So you're going to need a G, an E minor, an F, either is this bar chord version or is this mini bar version, a C, a C add nine, um, just about that C and that C at 9, um, you can kind of use them interchangeably in this song. I am sometimes, so if I say play a C and I might be playing a C at 9, it's kind of your choice. You can use whichever version you want. And um, you also need a D, an A, an E, and a B minor. If you take a look at the boxes around my head, those will show you how to play the chords. So let's start with how to play the verse. So there's one chord pattern in the verse for this song. So you've got a G, an E minor, an F, and then a C. And you play that whole chord pattern twice and that gets you through the verse. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold each of those chords for eight beats. And the strumming pattern for the verse sounds like this. Four years, think for sure. That's all you got to endure. All the total dicks, all the stuck up chicks. So superficial, so immature. So you've got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So one lot of down, down, up, up, down, up lasts you for about four beats. You're going to hold each of these chords for eight beats. So you're going to play the strumming pattern twice on each chord and then change chord. So on a G, that strumming pattern sounds like down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor. F, down, down, up, up, down, up, C. And let's speed that up and I'll put the words on top as well. So, four years, you think for sure. then you go into the chorus. Um, so the chorus is, I think, probably the most confusing bit of this song to play. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the chorus into two halves. So the first half of the chorus, and um, this bit I'm going to show you, you can also use for the intro and for the kind of the, the bit between the verses that's like, oh, 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 you can also use this chord pattern for that bit as well. So for this chord pattern, you've got a G for four beats. You can then, for these coming bits, you can either play a C or a C add nine. It doesn't matter. I'm going to say C, but I'm, I just find it easier to play the C add nine. So you're then going to play a C for two, a G for two, a C for two, a G for two, a D for two, and then a G for two. And you're going to play that whole bit twice. And that will then get you to the bit of the chorus that kind of is the bit that goes, the whole damn world is just as obsessed with who's the best dressed and who's having sex, um, who's got the money, who gets the honeys, who's kind of cute and who's just a mess. That's kind of the chord pattern for this bit. So let's think about the strumming pattern for this bit now. So I'm going to give you a bit of a choice and an option of strumming pattern, so to speak. So this is a bit of a choose your own adventure tutorial. So option one. So on the G, which you hold for four beats, you're just going to do down, on, up, up, down, up, as you have for the rest of the song. There's not really much choice in that. That I recommend. And um, the choice comes when you get to the chords which you hold for two beats. So one option 
um, sounds like this. So just starting with that G, you hold for four beats though. So you've got down, down, up, up, down, up. And then you can do down, down, up, 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 down, down, up. So just on each of your two beat chords, that's just down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So just down, down, up, change chord, down, down, up, change chord. So that's option one. Option two sounds like this. So you've got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that is actually just using down, down, up, up, down, up the whole way through. Except over the two beat chords, you split that strumming pattern. So it's on the first of the, on the first chord, you do down, down, and then on the second bit of the chord, it's up, up, down, up. So let's just do that bit, the kind of splitting the down, down, up, up, down, up a bit. So on the C, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So those are your two choices. Now option three is kind of an amalgamation of both of those. So this is what option three sounds like, starting again as per on that G. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 down, up, up, down. That's just doing down, down, up on the first C, the G, and then the C, and then the G, and then doing down, down, up, up, down, up on the last D, and then the last G. And so it's your choice. So I'm probably going to vary which one I play throughout this tutorial just so you guys can actually get a sense of what they all sound like and which one you feel works best. I kind of change. Sometimes I think, yeah, strumming pattern one, strumming pattern two, and then I'm like, nah, let's just use them all. Um, anyway, so it's your choice. So what we're going to do, so let's play the first part of the chorus through a few times. Just use strumming pattern one to begin with. So you've got your down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 down, up, again. C, G, C, G, D, G. Good. Um, so let's talk about the second half of the chorus now. So the second half of the chorus is the bit that goes and you still don't have the right look and you still don't have the right friends. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And um, so for that bit, you've got a C for four beats, a D for four beats, a C for four beats, a D for four beats, a C for four beats, a G for four beats, and then a D for four beats. And um, I definitely could have just said you play all of those for four beats the first time and saved myself a lot of four beats going through this. Um, and in terms of there, I actually probably would actually play a C when I'm saying a C instead of a C add nine, but it's your choice. And the strumming pattern for those chords is just our usual four beat down, down, up, up, down, up. So what we're gonna do, let's play all of the chorus the whole way through um, and then we'll play it a second time and I'll sing on top. This time, let's play it with strumming pattern number two for the first bit. So you've got a G, C, C, G, D, G, G, C, G, C for four, D, C, D, C, G, D. Um, high school never ends. went a bit rogue with that last bit. Um, in my head that would have been a lot smoother than that actually was, but there we are. Anyway, so we've now played our chorus the whole way through and then we've played it with me roughly warbling the words on top. Okay, so then you have another verse and then you get to the bridge. So the bridge is the bit that talks about Reese with a spoon, she's the prom queen, Bill Gates, Jack Black, Brad Pitt. I mean do kids nowadays even know who these people are? Anyway, so um, for the bridge we've got a lot of two beat chords coming up exactly the same as before, choose whichever strumming pattern you would like, I'm not going to rehash all of that. So, chord pattern for the bridge. So you've got a D, and then a G, and you've actually then got that six times. So you've got D, G, two, G, three, four, five, six, and then you've got a C for four, and then a D 
for four. That's going to sound like this. Please with us me, she's the prom queen. Bill Gates, captain of the chess team. Jack Black and Clown, Brad Pitt, the quarterback, senior to the four. I want my money back. The whole damn world is just as upset. And then it goes on. Um, I lied that last E, I said hold for four, I reckon probably hold it for eight instead. So then you've got another chorus, then you've got the interlude, then you can just play the intro chord pattern, then you get to this chorus at the end which is upper key. So this is kind of where the A's, the D's, the E's and the B minors come in. If you don't want to play any of those chords and if you're very smooth, you can actually just move your capo up two frets. That will then kind of put all of and play exactly the same chords that we've already spoken about because that will make the chords all a note higher. If you don't want to do that, and if you're, I'm definitely not slick enough to be able to do that really fast, especially with this capo. Instead, you're going to use these chords. And um, so we're not going to go through exactly how to play it with strumming pattern wise because it's exactly the same as we did before, just different chords. So the chord pattern. So you've got an A for four, then a D for two, an A for two, a D for two, an A for two, an E for two, an A for two. Then that whole thing repeats again. And then you get to the bit that goes, and I still don't have the right look, and you still have the same three friends. For that bit, you've got a D for four, an E for four, a D for four, then an E for four. I've done it again. I'm still saying you're holding all these chords for four. So you're holding all these chords for four beats. Then you've got a B minor, a D, and then an E. And that's how to play the whole last chorus. So let's have one more go at playing all of that um, kind of all of that last chorus together but up the key um, and I'll try to do it with strumming pattern number three because that's the one we haven't used so strumming pattern three is our kind of amalgamation one so we'll play it we'll play it all the way through one time and then I'll add the words on top so starting on the A on the A down down up down So forth. Oh, it's definitely time for a strap saw in my life. Um, anyway, so yeah, that is how to play the whole song. And apologies, I've not sung this song very well at all today. Um, really sorry about that. Um, so please comment, please rate, please subscribe, please request. And I have to say, going through the lyrics of this song, I, I, I don't know if anybody else has had this thought, but does anybody agree that Bowling for Soup were kind of right? I mean, I was probably, what, 12, 13 the first time I heard this song, and I'm 28 now. And parts of this song are most definitely still true. Just a just a thought. Bowling for Soup called it all those years ago. And if you, so if you do use these chords for a cover, you know, please post the link in the comments below. It'd be really good to see any covers that you guys do. Anyway, so please comment, please share, please subscribe, please request. <laughs>